This is the Bell 206 B3 Jet Ranger, the most ubiquitous turbine single-engine helicopter in the world. By the beginning of 2022, more than 7,500 Jet Rangers had been delivered, and the fleet had amassed more than 100 million operating hours, which has allowed the helicopter to set numerous distance records, including several around-the-world flights. Simple design is key to the model's endurance. The Jet Ranger is bulletproof. They just don't break. They are just really simple machines. The 206 series originated as a design contender for the United States Army's Light Observation Helicopter Program in the early 1960s. The initial version lost the contract, however. Bell Helicopters saw potential for a civilian version and decided to proceed with modifications to cater to this market. This led to the birth of the original 206A Jet Ranger, which was certified in 1966. The aircraft quickly gained favor for its reliability, safety features, and versatile capabilities. While the original 206A and its improved version, the 206B, enjoyed commercial success, there was room for further enhancements. In 1977, the 206B-3 Jet Ranger III was introduced, boasting several significant improvements over its predecessors and quickly garnered a strong reputation for being a reliable, cost-effective multi-mission helicopter. Even decades after its initial introduction, the Jet Ranger continues to be a relevant player in the industry. Various upgrade packages have been introduced to extend its service life, including avionics modernizations and engine improvements, and the aircraft's fundamental design has proven to be so robust that it provides a solid platform for these upgrades. But can it really keep up with modern helicopters? Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Bell 206B3 Jet Ranger. Stepping inside, the cabin has a width of 3.9 feet or 1.14 meters and a height of 4.2 feet or 1.27 meters, resulting in a total cabin volume of 73 cubic feet or 2 cubic meters. It's not exactly a sprawling space, but it offers a cozy environment for up to five occupants, including the pilot. The standard seating configuration is a 2 plus 3 layout. Two passengers can be accommodated in the rear bench style seat, with an additional single seat available alongside the pilot seat. One of the first things to note about the seating is the generous visibility, offering a near 180 degree visibility. Seat comfort is fairly standard. The seats are cushioned, but may not be the best for extended journeys. Space between the seats is adequate, but not overly generous, so taller individuals may find it slightly restrictive. The aircraft offers a baggage compartment that can carry up to 20 cubic feet or 560 liters of luggage. This is located at the back and is externally accessible. While it's not the most spacious, it is adequate for smaller items and personal belongings. Let's talk about noise and vibration. The Jet Ranger does a decent job here, but noise cancellation headphones are recommended for a more comfortable experience. Vibrations are relatively low, thanks in part to its two-bladed rotor system but it's not something you can entirely escape in any rotary wing aircraft. It does offer basic climate control options, but nothing too extravagant. Nevertheless, the ventilation system is adequate and serves its purpose well. Talking about safety features, the helicopter has a high inertia two-bladed rotor system that allows for more stable flight characteristics. Additionally, it's equipped with energy absorbing landing gear and seats. Although it lacks some of the advanced safety features found in newer models, such as terrain awareness systems, it has a proven track record that speaks for itself. Now let's talk about the cockpit and avionics suite. Upon entering, the first thing that stands out is its straightforward, no-nonsense layout. The cockpit is designed for single pilot operations but can accommodate dual controls, making it ideal for training scenarios. The dashboard layout places all essential gauges and indicators within easy line of sight. The overall design aims for functionality over frills, fitting in line with the Jet Ranger's reputation as a workhorse. The standard instrumentation is what you'd expect for VFR operations, consisting of an airspeed indicator, altimeter, and vertical speed indicator, among others. For IFR operations, additional instrumentation can be installed. The gauges are generally analog, although some operators opt for digital upgrades. Either way, the dials are easy to read, and the layout avoids overwhelming the pilot. Now, let's get into the meat of the topic, the avionics suite. 
Many jet rangers come with relatively basic avionics, such as VHF communication radios, basic GPS, and sometimes an older generation autopilot. However, the platform supports extensive avionics upgrades. Garmin's G500H flight display system is a popular choice for those looking to modernize the helicopter. It offers synthetic vision, moving map display, and advanced navigation features, to name a few. The Jet Ranger features a hydraulic control system that adds ease and responsiveness to the flying experience. The hydraulic system has a pressure of about 1,500 PSI, which allows for smoother and more effortless control inputs. The cyclic and collective are well-placed and ergonomically designed, adding to the overall comfort and control precision. The standard VHF communication systems are reliable but basic. Upgrades to digital systems are often a consideration for operators requiring more advanced communication capabilities. These may include features like secure encryption, multiple frequency bands, and enhanced audio quality. The aircraft is equipped with basic yet effective safety systems, such as engine-out audio and visual warnings. Although it lacks some of the more modern safety features like ADS-B or a HUMS, these can be installed as aftermarket upgrades. The dual controls and hydraulic system redundancies add an extra layer of safety, particularly useful for training purposes. The user experience in the cockpit is often described as intuitive. Switches and controls are well-labeled and conveniently positioned. While it may lack the touchscreen interfaces seen in more modern helicopters, the tactile nature of its controls adds a certain charm and immediate feedback that some pilots prefer. Now, let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The engine is powered by Rolls-Royce 250C20J turbo shaft engine with a TBO of 3,500 hours. This engine is particularly known for its durability and consistent performance and provides a 420 shaft horsepower, which is derated to approximately 317 for takeoff and 270 for continuous operation. The engine features a two shaft modular design and its operational efficiency has often been cited as a reason for the Jet Ranger's longevity in various roles from utility and law enforcement to personal use. While more efficient and complex, Three, four, and even five-bladed main rotor designs have emerged over the last 50 years, the Jet Ranger's time-tested two-blade system remains one of the least burdensome to maintain. And because the blades can be turned parallel to the fuselage, two-bladed systems are easier to hanger. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 1,350 feet or 410 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 13,500 feet or 4,115 meters. You can load up a Jet Ranger with lots of options, but it is always good to be mindful of weight, and installing the bare minimum to get the job done to preserve the helicopter's power and payload capabilities. With full fuel, the fully loaded 206B3 can carry 880 pounds or 400 kilograms at moderate temperatures and cruise at 115 knots. The Rolls engine burns about 26 gallons or 100 liters an hour from the 91 gallon or 345 liter fuel tank, and that translates into 4.5 hours of endurance when the helicopter is slowed to 50 knots. Realistically, it means three hours at normal cruising speeds with a prudent reserve, or about 60 minutes longer than the MD500E equipped with standard tanks. The helicopter has a maximum range of 375 nautical miles, which is 420 miles or 690 kilometers, with a useful load of 1,500 pounds or 680 kilograms. The base purchase price for a new Jet Ranger 3 was $2.5 million before options. But today, you can acquire a good 10-year-old model with a midlife engine for a little more than $500,000. Helicopter flights are relatively short, so those economics may argue in favor of putting up with occasional discomfort. The charter price is estimated at $1,500 to $2,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the annual fixed cost is roughly $100,000 to $150,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $600 to $900. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.